Welcome back to uh, International Dino Authority. Today we're here tuning a 2022 Ford F-150 Power Boost. It's a hybrid. So this is going to be interesting because A, the Ford computers have been locked for a couple of years. We now have a unique tuning solution. We're gonna work our way through this. We're gonna give the customer the power, the torque, and the fuel mileage he's looking for. And it's gonna be interesting to see how everything interacts as we challenge our way through the electrical portion of a Power Boost F-150. Stay tuned. We've worked our way through this 2022 Power Boost with the 3.5 liter EcoBoost and the electric hybrid assist. And what we noticed was that on the dyno it acts pretty much the same as any other EcoBoost. It seems to be pretty normal. We can hold a gear, we can make our passes, and we can run through and get a baseline and start tuning. So what we've started out with is our baselines. Number one, we came up to 378 foot-pounds to the wheels. 313 horsepower again to the wheels. There's always a section where the engine is cooler and then it comes up to peak operating temperature, then it gets warm. This one did it very quickly. So on the second pass, which was our best pass for baseline, we made a little bit more torque, we made a little bit more horsepower. We went up about 10 and 10 on torque and horsepower, but immediately on the third pass, came right back down again. So we had like a 310 horsepower pass and a 312 and a 313 but in the middle we had 323 horse okay right after that we now realize that the first time we're ever doing a power boost is going to work out like every other eco boost it's going to work out fine and we're going to be able to go through and do our tuning process so we started tuning and immediately we go from 386 foot-pounds and a terrible curve right up to a nice smooth curve and 430 foot-pounds. We're up to 355 horse almost before we've really done as much as we normally do. We just start working away at it, getting the fueling correct and working on the boost. So that is where we, um, we kind of wrapped up for the first section and then we started into our, our next section of passing. a series of passes to make sure that the boost was correct, to make sure that the fueling is correct, and to make sure everything's working the way we really want it to work. And we came up to in the 400 foot-pound range and started to creep up on our tune. Right after that, we were able to bring in a new boost curve, bring in a new fuel curve, and start making the truck work where we know it can, but we want it to do it safely, and we want to make sure that everything in the power boost world is the same as it is in the EcoBoost world, which it turns out it is. So here we go. We were making 400 foot-pounds and 340 to 350 foot-pound uh, horsepower pretty much over and over, and then we started with a new boost curve and some more tuning. And we jumped up to a, a new level of um, that we had to kind of meet. So you can see the fueling's not fantastic in here, but now we're at a new level of boost and we start working on a new fuel curve. This brings us up to 383 horse from 313 and 14 and 23 when we first came in and 470 foot-pounds of torque. So looking at everything, going back over all the different pieces and parts of the tune, we realized there's still more to be had there there's still more efficiency, and it's still not running quite correctly the way we would like it to run. 
So we went back in and started to refine the tune. And when I say we, I mean Wally. He's behind the wheel. He does all the tuning. He does all the monitoring. He pulls the data logs and he looks through and to see where things are correct, where they're incorrect, and then just works on correcting it to make sure the boost curve is correct and the fueling is proper. Okay, at this point, we're working with our power boost. This 2022 uh, EcoBoost is not disappointing us at all. We've uh, gone from 380 foot-pounds to 430 foot-pounds to 470 foot-pounds, and now we're kind of cresting up, but the curve is what we really like. We take a look here now, we're at 493 foot-pounds, which is pretty much where we're gonna end things off for um, our peak. Out in the real world, you're always going to get a little bit more power because you're going to have nice fresh air always coming in. But now we have a beautiful curve. We're coming up. We're holding 490 plus foot-pounds of torque. We're making over 400 horsepower to the wheels. This is just now going to be a real pleasure of a truck to drive. And when the power boost portion or the hybrid portion comes in, it's just going to add to this efficiency. This will be a lot nicer truck to drive, better on fuel, more fun to drive, easier to tow with and just an all-round fun F-150. First of all, I'd like to thank Mark, Wally, all the crew here for a good experience today. I had a blast here on a cold, blustery day. They involved me with everything from start to finish. Uh, showed me the baselines. It was a real pleasure to, to watch. Uh, coming from a guy who has never, never seen this before, doesn't have a lot of experience in it. Mockingbird.